I wanna give you some hints for labeling patient specimens. First and foremost, always label with that patient still there. At the very end of every draw, you need to verify that patient's name a second time. Have them spell their name and their uh, give you the birth date one more time before they get up and leave or before you leave the room. You never take blood away from the patient and label it away from bedside because we never wanna take a risk of it being the wrong patient. Next thing, when we're labeling, I have a patient, you have a fake patient, I'm not breaking any HIPAA, and what we're gonna do is when we're labeling the patient name, we always take the last name towards the top of the tube. This helps us when we have racks and racks and racks, when we're looking for somebody, if we have the last name always towards the top. When we put the label on, we're gonna put the last name towards the top, and you can see that these tubes have, see how it's got this red mark there, and this one has a purple line. That tells us what's in the tube. If something happens and the tops get removed, this tells us what kind of tube it is if we have to go back to it. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to label on the label. I do not want, even though I want that red line to show, I want us to label over the label and I'm gonna let that red line show and I'm gonna wrap it around. This allows me, if you can see here, I can still have my window. So what's gonna happen in the lab is I may have to aliquot off part of this tube. And so I can actually see in the window of what I'm looking at, where I can actually pull off this plasma or the, or the serum and not touch the cells. If somebody decides, instead of putting it here, if somebody decides to cover my window and I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at, I can't see what's going on in my tube. So it's always really, really important to label it. Now I pulled off the label. Up and down with that line over the actual label. Make sure when you're in the lab, when you're sending things to the lab, that you don't just throw it on at a weird angle. Don't cover the lid. You know, we don't want things like that because that's gonna be a mess. We don't want you to take it and, and wrap it around like this because the other problem we're gonna have is this is gonna get caught in our instruments and cause problems. It's also gonna get caught in our racks and cause problems. This also will have a barcode scanner on it. And this is how our instruments read our barcode. If I try doing this, it's gonna to try to be spinning. It's gonna get all hung up and it's not going to read in my instrument. So I wanna make sure that my labels are on up and down with the color of the tube showing and the barcode will be up and down nice and straight with my window open. The lab will really appreciate you doing this.